Hi everyone, I hope you're well wherever you are and whatever you're up to. I'm Lauren and as you can see, I'm in my shop today and I thought I would do something a little bit different on the theme of matching fabrics with patterns because it's probably one of the most common things that our customers um, call up to ask us or email us or that I get asked on social media is working out what fabric to pair with what pattern. Um, it can seem quite overwhelming with the choice um, and when I do my new fabric videos it sometimes feels like I've just got so much fabric to share with you that I, I can appreciate it might be a bit like ah there's all this fabric and what do I actually do with it and um, so I've honed it down a little bit for this video and I've picked just five patterns and I've chosen five fabrics that I think would be really good with it because I think it can just seem yeah, it can just seem overwhelming when there's so much choice out there now in terms of patterns and fabrics. So even if you're not sure about any of the patterns that I've actually chosen, hopefully the pairings that I've done will just give you a bit of an idea of what those types of fabrics are actually suitable for. Um, so I've made it quite seasonal and the colour palette is quite seasonal as well. Um, and I've picked three tops and two bottoms. So I've got a trouser and a skirt. And the idea was is that you could kind of mix and match them a little bit um, or that you could just fit them in with things that might be in your wardrobe already. Um, so the first top that I have chosen is the one of the new Deer and Doe ones and it is the Pensé dress and camisole. So the pattern comes with a dress and a camisole in it but it's the camisole version that I'm sort of highlighting in this video um, and I know that Ogden cami has been really popular in the past so if you like that kind of style you made the Ogden before this is like a nice variation so it's got a wrap at the back so um, this is actually the front view and then the wrap with the little tie is at the back and and it's got a nice v-neck and it's got some darts at the front as well which make it a bit, little bit more fitted at the bust so the pattern's recommending um, rayon, lyocell, cupro, silk crepe silk charmeuse and cotton crepe so something that has got a lot of fluid drape and movement i've seen a few versions of this made up on instagram and it does look like it sort of drapes quite a lot at the back and some versions look like it comes quite low so you really want something that's got a good amount of movement so the fabric that i've chosen is one of the beautiful new rifle paper co ones and um, it's from their wildwood collection and of course because it's rifle paper company the colors are just really beautiful the print's really detailed and if i just kind of hold it up then i'm sure you're going to be able to see that's got a really really lovely draping movement to it which i think just suits the style of that top perfectly and um, so yeah that was my first option and then the next top that i've chosen is a pattern that's been around for a little bit longer but i think it's a really versatile one as well and it is the green line studio hadley top so a while ago all of the gng team made different versions of this top and it was really nice to see it made up in different fabrics but i think for this time of year the sleeveless version would be really nice so on the face of it, it does just look like quite a simple sort of tank top. It's actually got some details that I think are really nice. There's facings everywhere, so at the neck and at the arms um, and then at the hem as well. And it's got quite a wide sort of A-line shape and it's dropped, got a drop hem at the back. And that nice deep hem facing just gives a good amount of weight to the top and it also helps to hold its shape a little bit more. Um, so I have seen this top made up in lots of different fabrics, but the one that I have chosen, which I think is really nice for this time of year, is the powder colourway of the Atelier Brunette Stardust fabric. So it's a lovely sort of um, light pink colour and then it's got these gorgeous little sparkles on it. So the cotton double gauze is like two really fine layers of cotton together and yeah it's just it feels really nice and this fabric also softens loads and kind of I find that double gauze almost sort of molds to your body the more that you wear it it's like it just takes like it just fits you better the more you sort of wear it and wash it it's really nice fabric to to work with it does tend to fray quite a bit because the weave is a little bit looser like you can see the threads are kind of coming loose here and um, so it is good if you've got an overlocker to do that or you might want to like try a french seam or sort of fold the raw edges under to kind of finish them off a little bit um, but yeah it's a really lovely fabric and if you know the stardust atelier brunette fabric you know it comes in loads of different colors as well so if you're not sure about the pink there's other options there too and then the last top that i chose was the merchant and mills camber top so this pattern also comes as a dress and a top in the same pattern 
and it's just quite a simple like nice little woven tea pattern but again it's got some nice details on it so it's got a yoke at the back and then it's got an exposed binding at the front as well some bust starts to give it a bit of shape and um, it does tend to come up quite loose because you're just kind of pulling it on and off over your head it doesn't have any fastenings or anything and um, so it does have a bit of a looser style and again there's lots of different types of fabric recommended for this pattern and um, so light linens fine wool lightweight denim or silk but the fabric that I've chosen is also double gauze. I think it's just really good for this time of year. Um, and it is this one here that has got some really lovely colours in it. So it's got a kind of blushy pink background. And then it's got these nice mustard and um, blue sort of spots on it. So it would go with lots of different things. So, so again, it's double gauze. So it's like the two fine layers of cotton together, lovely and soft. Um, and unlike a lot of other double gauzes that you can get, this one's actually quite wide. It's like a wider width which is always good just because you get more out of your length of fabric that you buy and um, so yeah that's the camber set so I think they would all look really nice paired with some trousers or a skirt or just some jeans and um, good for layering as well like you could wear them all with the cardigan or whatever over the top so nice for spring summer time and then in terms of the two bottoms patterns so I said I've got a skirt and a, and a pair of trousers for the skirt i've chosen the tilly and the buttons dominique and specifically the knee length flared skirt which you can see is quite full and then it's got um a nice sort of uh, sash with like a little bow tie at the front as well so because that skirt is a lot of fuller you can tell it's sort of nice and swishy and um, you need something with a lot of movement so i've chosen this viscose and if i hold up here you'll see what I mean you can see that it would be really nice as a skirt because it's going to swish and move around a lot um, and I picked the blue just because I thought it would go with lots of different things it's nice when you make a, like something for the bottom you skirt or trousers and it's a bit more neutral because it means it's going to go with a lot more things um, it is quite lightweight so it's going to be summery but I don't think you would need to line it or anything because the, the design of the skirt is, is that it's a bit fuller um, so yeah I think that would be nice to pair with lots of different things and then for the trousers I have chosen the True Bias Emerson trousers which as you can see are just they're quite simple they've got a lovely wide leg and they've got pockets at the front and they're quite simple in terms of a pair of trousers because they've not got a fly or anything they've got an elasticated waistband at the back so you're just pulling them on and off and then they've got some nice pleats at the front too and then you've also got two options for the rise so they've got a mid rise and then they've also got a higher rise as well so i've just chosen some classic linens for them because i think they're going to go with loads of different things um, and we've started to get linens in for the summer and i've gone for a navy blue and then a kind of mid blue just because again i think they go with lots of stuff um, and that that weight of the linen I'll hold some up so you can sort of see it kind of hanging I think it just holds the shape of that wide leg a little bit more I used some of this navy one to make the true bias lander pants last summer and I wore them so much it was a really lovely fabric to work with press as well um, and yeah just really nice to wear nice and cool for the summer so yeah i hope that's given you some inspiration and um, a link to the blog post that is to go with this video so and that will be links to all of the fabrics and the patterns that i've chosen but if you've got any questions at all just give me drop me a line you can leave a question in the comments and even if it's not about these patterns you know if you just think i want to you you know i want to make this pattern what's a good fabric for that um, we're always happy to help um, everything is on the website and we ship worldwide as well um, so yeah thanks for watching guys if you haven't subscribed to my channel just remember to hit subscribe so you don't miss out on my next video and i'll see you next time <laughs> bye